and certified as a pastor. He insists on being called Pastor Harry. Uh, his real name is John Landis with a, a police record for mental imbalance in Philadelphia. Uh, he's crazy. And uh, that's, uh, you know, that he was a host about a year or two ago. And he still keeps it going. Uh, you know what? He uh, refused, as I always do, to be bullied by anybody. And he wanted me to take the Serpent Seed Line article off my website, and I refused, so he quit. I don't think he thought I thought he would quit. I think he thought I, I would just say, okay, I'll take it off, come back. Well, I really could care less. You know, I knew I knew he was a player when I brought him on as a host. I knew what was going on. Uh, but it was interesting having him as a host. I had a good time. I didn't have to do all the talking by myself. Uh, he brought some interesting questions to the table. Uh, and so it was interesting. But when the Lord says enough's enough, enough's enough. And so uh, I don't always continue to get to play. Uh, and so he's uh, made it his one of his sole missions online to uh, whatever defame whatever me on the internet. I don't know what he's saying on his website. I'm just I'm not going to go there. It's uh, the Lord will handle him. The Lord handles all my enemies. Uh, and so he allows to, to stick around, you know. Uh, and for whatever reason, I don't you know I'm not going to get into why the Lord allows something some people to stick around uh, and gets rid of others. And so uh, you know. Whatever he wants to do. I'm not going to give him... Uh, he wants to use me as a sounding board on the Internet to build up his own website and his own name. It's not going to happen. Uh, he's just a wicked person. He's full of hate. He's full of evil. Uh, you can't listen for the guy for two seconds and not discern that. Uh, and so uh, that's all I have to say about that guy, <laughs> Richard Landis. Uh, when reading Leviticus, it was hard to understand what we can or cannot eat. I was wondering if you could make a cheat sheet. Put it on back to you at that time. Do you know at the top of your head? Um, a cheat sheet. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Lamb is okay. Lamb meat's okay. Chicken is okay. Uh, cow is okay. Uh, just stick with those three. I think the only thing that gets confusing is the fish, because... You can't eat the uh, the bottom crawl. You can't eat shrimp and, and lobster and, and the good stuff. You know? <laughs> I think it has to be a, a, the fish with gills and, and some other thing. I don't know. The fish is the one that really gets me. It's different types of fish. White fish is good. Stick with white fish. Um, but yeah, you can eat veal. You can eat cow. You can eat uh, chicken and uh, lamb meat. What you don't want to eat is pork. So don't eat pork. That's basically the one thing out of all of our food that you just throw out is pork. Uh, so stay away from pork products. Uh, and this is because health-wise, you know, these are these are health issues as to why we don't eat pork. I mean, they're, they're you know, they're filthy animals. Uh, they're not even pure animal. I think they're a crossbreed between humans uh, and whatever animal it used to be at one time, uh, because there's a lot of uh, a lot of human features to pig. Uh, when I heard that, I was just floored. Uh, the idea was fast-forwarding what you're saying at some points, like it did when you did the Time Trial show. I'm not surprised. Hopefully it'll straighten out uh, by the time I, re I upload this. Uh, because I really hate it uh, when I start speaking. <laughs> Truth Sunday is pagan, constantly changed it. What about telling you an invisible person all the time? Invisible per feeling like an invisible person all the time. Uh, yeah, Sunday is a, is not the Sabbath day. Sunday was changed by Christianity with no biblical authority to do so. Uh, Sabbath day is su uh, Saturday, seventh day of the week. Uh, and so you know what, folks, if you really want to test, try. Try to uh, give up Sundays for about a month and start celebrating on Saturday. And tell me that you don't feel the, the presence of the Lord uh, on a Saturday. I mean, it's, it's just amazing. Uh, because His presence is there. We were never, it was never changed from Saturday to Sunday. And one of the, the biggest things is, is the Lord's always telling us is to honor the Sabbath. Uh, Sherry, I was told you had some info about Ron Paul. May 31st, just wanted to know what your take was. Thanks. Uh, Ron Paul, uh, and I posted something about this on my list before I left town. Uh, he's one of theirs. He's, he's working the, the Al Gore alien agenda. Uh, in their own writings, 
uh, the whole alien agenda crowd uh, calls Ron Paul one of their own. Ron Paul, Cynthia McKinney, and Dennis Kucinich. They call them their own. Their own politicians, whatever. Their own, yeah, politicians. Uh, and so he's working the alien agenda. Usually if someone's too good to be true, and, and it is, because, I mean, he sounds like everything we would need right now to get rid of the Bush regime. Uh, but that's what, that's what the alien agenda offers. That's the other flip side of the coin. Uh, you get Bush, you get Gore. <laughs> you get Bush, you get aliens. <laughs> Uh, he's one of them. Uh, and so you can dig back, uh, on my show. Because I, I've already listed information about Al Gore. Uh, today I another email from you. Did I read somewhere, did you say that BBs can be used in place of copper metal shavings? No, you know, BBs are just coated. That's all they are. They're just coated. If you can find, you don't even need copper shavings, folks. If you get the heavier, thicker wire that is 14 gauge or even 12 gauge, you don't need extra extra copper shavings. Uh, just get the thicker copper wire, uh, roll that into coil, uh, and then just put your crystals inside the coil, and then surround it with aluminum shavings, and you'll be good. Just use the thicker. I found it a lot easier uh, that way uh, because I used to put extra copper shavings into the muffins when I first started making them, the blasters. Uh, because I was only using the 18 gauge coil, uh, and so I found that if you use a heavier coil, uh, then, then that's enough uh, copper. You can add your penny in if you want. I just make so many thousands of them, I go through thousands of pennies all the time. I would drive poor people at the bank crazy. I don't use those anymore, you, but people still can. And you can use uh, uh, copper shavings if you want to, but uh, better off if they're just uh, pure copper shavings and not just some kind of coated stuff where you're just you know, kind of wasting the effect of it. Just use the, just use the uh, thicker coil. And what I do is I go to Lowe's Hardware, and they have copper coil by the stools, uh, spools, if they're 500 foot long, uh, and you can strip. They come with an outer coating, uh, like you know, like red outer coating or green. I take a, a utility knife and I strip that coating all the way off those things, uh, and then use the, and then wind the coil up. Uh, so. It's a lot easier that way uh, than buying them at the hardware store at, at, at the 18 gauge kind. Uh, so I don't have to use the extra shavings that way. You don't need extra copper that way. Uh, I don't know. Do you think the government took most of the iodine out of our diet not only to make us sick but because it makes us taste better to them? <laughs> I don't know about that one. I would hope not. Uh, but it wouldn't surprise me. Uh, they've got plenty of ionization going on in our atmosphere, so... Um, one of the, the, the two chemicals that you'll see is it's almost a war. Uh, you shouldn't eat shrimp because the fish eat shrimp. That's true. Uh, and the bottom feeders. Crab legs, things like that. Uh, I think the only fish you're going to be safe with, folks, is, is normal, just normal white fish. Just ask the Lord, you know, what the difference between being the legalists of the Old Testament and being spirit-filled in the New Testament was that the Lord himself would lead you uh, into the things to, to follow and observe. Uh, and so just ask him, and, and, and he'll lead you, and you'll, you'll feel his spirit telling you not to eat something or something's okay or listen to his voice and, and his leading his direction in your spirit you know and he will lead you into what laws to follow or what falls what laws not to some aren't some don't pertain to today you know like the sacrificial uh, laws